by the end of this video, you'll be able to put together a form that you'll be proud to send to your respondents. We'll be using a free Typeform account, so just go to typeform.com, sign up, and away we go. So the first thing you'll see when you open Typeform is this, and this is your workspace where all your Typeforms will be saved. But to create one, we need to click on New Typeform. And we'll be taken to a template gallery. So these are uh, templates that the Typeform team have created that look beautiful and have lots of questions in them that you can use. So a website feedback survey all the way to an engagement party invitation. But we are going to create one from scratch. So we'll click on start from scratch at the top. And this is where we're going to be creating our type form. So click on add your first question. And first we want to put in a welcome screen. And then to create the wording, this is where we have to write. So we're going to click here and say, how did we do? We'd love to hear what you think. And then you can see on the right, appears exactly how it will appear when you publish, when you send this out to your respondents. So that's the first thing. So that's the welcome screen. Let's add our first actual question. So first of all, we want to know their name. And this is short text. So short text basically limits uh, how many characters they can put in. So what's your name? Next, we'll add a new question. And here we want to know where they live, but we don't want to know their towns. We want to know their countries. So we're going to give them a multiple choice, which makes the data, make sure our data stays a lot cleaner. So let's type in, make it. And where do you live? And we're going to give them three options USA, UK, Australia and you can see them appearing on the other side but let's add another one just in case something goes wrong call it other so next we want to know what their order number is so for our orders we know it's a, a number so we go to number and we know it's five digits long so let's say what is your order number and then to make sure it's only five digits we go to question settings and we go here on this menu that pops up to minimum number and hit five and maximum number and hit five then we can add a description that says underneath this is a five digit number so it gives them a bit of explanation and also make sure that they can only insert the five digits type form saves as you go along so if you close that it's already saved and that's add our next question, which is what we really want to know. So we're going to go down to opinion scale and ask one of the most famous questions in the world. And straight away, you can see it come up on the right hand side. This is a net promoter score question and it's already set up. Um, we want to know why they've given you that score. So we need a long text question because for everyone, it's going to be different and you see it pop up and then it's a longer text field that allows you to write a lot more than a shorter text field. And then finally, we're going to ask them a yes or no, which leads to our final question. So we've engaged with them. Uh, they filled out the survey. We want to see if we can continue talking to them. And so we've got an automatic yes or no. And then finally, if they obviously do want to subscribe, let's add their email address. And the reason we give the email field rather than a short text field is that this recognize, uh, recognizes if people have entered it incorrectly. So then you end it with uh, a thank you screen, which closes off the type form. One thing we have missed, though, is that on question six, we gave them an option. So we said, want to subscribe to our newsletter. Obviously, if they say no and we ask them what their email address is, uh, something has gone wrong. So we're going to go to these options at the bottom of question six, click on logic jump. And this is what we want to do. So we click on add logic jump and you see it defaults automatically where it says that if the answer to want to subscribe to our newsletter is yes, then jump to what is your email address. In all other cases, in which case it is no, because it's just a simple yes, no question, we put go straight to thanks for your feedback. And it's all ready to go. So now you can have a quick preview of it before you publish it and hit publish. And your type form is ready to go. All you now need to do is go to share, 
copy your link. And it's over to you to send to your customers, to your family, to your mum and dad. If you want some extra tips and tricks on how to make your type form even better, check out our other video in the series. Otherwise, if you found this video useful, please help us by giving us a like. Cheers.